is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. All right. Hey, guys. Today I'm here with Yoshi Sakai. Did I get that right, Yoshi? Yes. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so excited to do our podcast. I am currently at Spring Break Art Show. Uh, can you tell us your booth, please? My booth is number 72, and it's curated by Lauren Wolchek, and the title is Grandma is Cool as Fuck. <laughs> love that, love that. And do you mind sharing a little bit how your creative process came to be for this booth? Oh, for this booth? Um, so I've started this thing called the Grandma Entertainment Franchise back in 2020, where um, actually I started thinking about it during COVID. Um, you know, it there was this whole push for the government to like, oh, we need to vaccinate our seniors. And I didn't feel like the American government really cared about seniors before. But so I started thinking about seniors. I'm also very close to my grandmother, Obachan in Japanese. And so that's where this whole project started. I wanted to create a place where we can honor and celebrate our seniors, kind of cast them in a different light. There's a video playing called Grandma Nightclub. <laughs> you know, you see them dancing, being vital, being lively, you know, they date, they're sexual. <laughs> it's not just like a bunch of physical ailments that they're suffering. Yes, those things happen, but at the same time, they are still human beings who are, enjoy life. And so I sort of wanted to portray that. And also I started creating this kind of world that's like anti-capitalist, sort of an alternate universe to Disneyland. And so I created like my grandma mascots. <laughs> so instead of Mickey and Minnie, we have, we have grandmas <laughs> as our sort of heroes. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, the thing I really I love about the, your booth right now is how interactive and colorful it is and happy. Um, you're originally from Japan? No, I'm actually Nikkei, so I'm um, like second, third generation, and I'm, I'm from California. So I was born and raised here. Yeah, people think I'm from Japan because my first name is Japanese, but no, I was born and raised here. So do you think like being from California has like influenced your background in your work? I think, I think it has. I think it greatly has. And especially where I'm from, um, I'm from this place called Gardena. It's like 20 minutes southwest of L.A. City proper. And there's a huge Japanese American population, huge Japanese population. And that's where I grew up. Uh, you know, earlier on, I wanted to get away from it. It's like kind of a small town. And, you know, like you want to go away from the small town and go somewhere else bigger. But um, now that I've kind of moved back with my elderly mom, who's 90 years old, um, it, it, it's been a great source of inspiration for me. So I'm very much inspired by my mother. Um, she's elderly and like her friends, I'm very much inspired by the everyday and the things that people go through every day. And so like, yeah, this whole grandma, th I mean, I don't think it would have happened unless I were living where I was living. So Gardena is a very important place. I love that story. Is she currently in California? Would she be able to come to the booth and check it out? No, she's in California. I mean, she's like still very able and she yeah. walks, but yeah, she's not going to travel. And she doesn't understand really 100% what I'm doing. If she saw this, she would just be like, sh this is what she would say. Why are you being so dramatic? You know, because <laughs> of all the craziness, the tinsel, like she doesn't really get it. But it's, but she's supportive in her own way so that's what counts that's what counts so you're probably just going to share like little glimpse and little like cute images right for her uh yeah i'll show her pictures when i get back but and are you going to be here during the whole um spring break art show can people talk with you and interact with you yeah i'll be here the whole week yeah that's one good thing being out of town <laughs> it's like i don't know a whole lot of people so like yeah i'll be here talking to people and this is a great opportunity so and um, do you like when people talk to, with you and interact with you about your work and ask you questions? Yes, I, I do like that very much so. I mean, that's why I make the space the way I do, immersive. Um, accessibility is really important for me in art. I don't want it to just be accessible to those who've studied art or like are all MFAs or master's candidates. I would like children. I would like grandparents. I'm hoping to create a place where you can come, at, come in at any point you know whether you know nothing or you just like the tinsel i mean i i'm very much that that's a big thing for me the accessibility something people can understand i love that that's so like thoughtful and inclusive that's really nice and do you mind sharing your instagram with me i mean and for the listeners here it's um so it's at yoshie so it's yoshie y-o-s-h-i-e underscore sakai s-a-k-a-i underscore studio so Yoshie sak underscore Sakai underscore studio. Perfect. Now, I won't take you up any longer. Thank you so much. This is just a little quick mini preview. And I wish you the best of luck. And um, for the listeners listening, please check her Instagram. And also be sharing her work on, on my Instagram for the podcast. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Tariq Talk. 
Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online. 